What is up and is going on guys, my name is Simsy and welcome to Season 4, Episode 4 of my FIFA 15 Real Madrid career mode. I am so excited to bring this episode to you guys, I'm still having a load of fun with Madrid and I can't wait to show you this episode. So guys, in the last we managed to sign Messi on a pre-contract, he will be joining Real Madrid next season, which I'm so happy with. Navas has gone up a plus three this season, and Lukaku has gone up a plus three as well. Obviously, he doesn't show it there because he has gone on loan a fair bit, but he is an 87 overall. He did start off as a 40, uh, sorry, an 84. He is the same overall as Ibrahimovic, but obviously Lukaku is still really quite young. And Ibra is a superb player. Um, Ozil's gone up a plus one. I feel like a lot of my players have shot up in stats um, this season particularly. But guys, in today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against CSK Moscow in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And then we have an El Clasico against Barcelona. It is a home match at the Santiago Bernabeu. And the last time we played them... The old Classico away, we ended up winning as well. So, uh, we have our we have a match in the Champions League in the round of 16, which is absolutely superb. Um, a lot of my players are going up in stats now. I'm hoping Courtois does as well, eventually, but uh, I don't know about Courtois. I feel like, I don't know what it is about my goalkeepers at Madrid. They just keep on glitching. I'm going to try to loan them out as much as possible to try and increase that. But we have Bar... Uh, Barbosa, I think, in goal. I, 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 can I know who he is. I can never pronounce his name properly. Um, but he is a 90 overall. He's been absolutely superb goalkeeper this season. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer of the La Liga? At the moment, it is Ibrahimovic. But will that change? Also, the goal scorer. And uh, I'm doing pretty well in the league. Let me know in the comments below. I win my fourth title in the La Liga. I reckon I will, to be quite honest. I'm backing myself. But uh, let me know. Will there be an upset on the cards? Now, nil nil here against CSK. I did manage to bring on Lukaku. And uh, he did manage to draw a penalty, the number 29 for myself. And a uh, nice little cutback there. I don't know. I guess the CSK of Moscow. Defender was... I feel like he was pushing his body further across. Down when we just managed to clip legs. I was looking at Lukaku, thinking, should he take it? But um, Thomas Muller is my highest penalty kick taker on the pitch. Nice little starter. He absolutely buries this one to the left of screen and scores in the 80th minute to make it 1-0 against Moscow. So it did take us quite a while to score in this match, but it was a well-deserved one. It's good to see Real Madrid um, celebrating here. And uh, guys, also, let me, let me, I, want to, I want your feedback for this series. Would you like to see Season 5 of the Madrid campaign? Or would you like to see some more Man United? I don't know. But uh, Thomas Muller here managed to find Eden Hazard. There was a bit of a stuff up at the back. But Thomas Muller, Cool Karma Collective, manages to put in a ball to Eden Hazard. And the Belgian breaks away there and absolutely buries this one. This match was really quite quiet um, up until that penalty. And Gareth Bale manages to find Lukaku, who manages to get the chipped ball, put it on his uh, right, then his left, and then dink it over the goalkeeper to make it 3-0. So there was, like I said, there was a really big uh, breakaway. It was a pretty big upset. But Gareth Bale there and Lukaku there and he just had to dink it when, um, what's his name? It's definitely not Akinfenwa. <laughs> it starts with that. Affili, I think, the goalkeeper. Anyway, who cares? We have the Madrid derby. What? The El Clasico. I just can't seem to get anything right here at the moment. We have the El Clasico against Barcelona. They're currently second. Getafe are still floating around there. They were doing pretty well in the last episode. But Sevilla are currently sitting there. But we have the La Liga. Ah, it's going to be a big match. I really can't wait to see what happens in this Real Madrid career mode. But we have our match against Barca, of course. The El Clasico is huge. So... Ibra on the ball manages to find Luis Suarez, who's had a sort of a slow start back from his three-month injury. But uh, he's not doing too bad here. He manages to find Ibra, who manages to slot it past the Barcelona goalkeeper. If you guys remember, Stegen did sign for Arsenal. So they are not they don't have that strong of a, a goalkeeping. Obviously, Valdez plays for Manchester United. But Gareth Bale here with the throw-in manages to find Ibra. Thomas Muller, the German, rises to the occasion. 
but unfortunately couldn't stick it. Now, speaking of Thomas Muller, he breaks away here late in the second half with the back heel, finds the Croatian Modric, who had a pretty good start to the season. Obviously, he was playing a lot more when Suarez was out on injury. But uh, Thomas Muller here, who scored the penalty against Moscow, manages to score another score another goal here to make it 2-0 against Barcelona just in the 70th minute. So you'll be thinking uh, Messi is happy that he's joining uh, next season to Madrid. We also did manage to sign a goalkeeper. I can't remember his name. He was an Italian. He's an 86 overall, 26 years of age. He's obviously a glitch player. I don't think he usually goes to that stat. But uh, he's worth about 50 million, so we're going to make a profit on him even if we don't have him for game time. But he also can re replace Leno if we need to. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this season um, series and my channel. I feel like I'm saying season every time I say this. But oh, I do, but I stuff up. Anyway, goodbye. My name's Ben Simpson.